going to go through a few key points and then we're going to talk about them a little bit more in depth and in detail. Okay. So, um, the first tip, the first productive method that will allow us to produce more at home is to create a designated and dedicated workspace for ourselves. Okay. Now, um, for some people, it may be challenging based on how much space they have in their home. And for some other people, uh, they already have an extra bedroom or they have a space that's designated just for work. Now, um, a great tip when working from home and you have a designated space or you don't have a designated space, if you don't have a designated space, I would tell you create two small ones. So real quick, um, paperwork, things of that nature, kitchen table, uh, quick follow-up calls and calls. If you're comfortable, have a seat on your couch, make it seem like a real conversation because we know that selling is not telling, it's asking questions. And we also know that prospecting is purely a conversation. So when we set up our famous office, things we should definitely factor in is to get plenty of sunlight of where we're sitting, where we're installed. The reason why, um, well, let's be honest, here in Montreal, we're already vitamin D deficient because of all the winters and the long winters that we spend at home. So we all need 15 minutes of sunlight per day. And um, it's, it's, it's a way to keep us going. So set yourselves up next to where there is sunlight. Um, number two, considering the dedicated space, try and stand up. Now, we all know that when we're making calls, generally, we have this, um, this, this particular subject that's called the TVR, which is the tone, volume, and the rhythm. Now, we've all seen this. We've all experimented it uh, when prospecting. Now, the tone, volume, and the rhythm allows you allows it to come out more when standing up. Uh, I know that for some people standing up all day is not easy, but uh, you can always go with uh, an ergo ergonomic kind of desk or uh, what you could simply do is just uh, you know go to the kitchen table or to your to your bar counter in the kitchen. Uh, you could put a nice box and elevate your uh, your computer to allow you to stand up. Okay. Now, for this designated space, I know that some of us have uh, roommates, uh, young children. Uh, some have, you know, their elderly parents living with them because they're taking care of them. Um, a great tip is when you're in that office space, if it's a closed room, uh, take five minutes, prepare everyone that's in the home there with you that from X time to X time, you'll be working to be able to provide for them and support them. So that's a five minute uh, little huddle that uh, you want to start and you want to you want to prepare everyone that from this time to this time, um, I'm going to be working to be able to support us. So I cannot have any interruptions the same way that when we go to work, you know, we don't have people barging in from uh, our family or our personal side in and out of our office. Uh, it does create, uh, of course, confusion sometimes and distractions. Um, something else that we could do is that we can easily put a little sign on the door, you know, uh, like uh, work time or uh, open or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, uh, number two, which is the second topic, uh, this one is, I could say, one of the most important, and this one is also based around time management. Uh, this is the most important, I would say, one of the most important uh, things to keep in mind when working from home, uh, and that is to stick to a schedule, okay? Now, we usually spend time in the car trying to get to the office and trying to come back 
from the office or our visits or whatever we may be uh, doing when we're out and about. But uh, sticking to a schedule is key when working from home and trying to be even more productive. Uh, yes, it is a time management uh, question and uh, it is very important because we know that when working for 60 minutes, we have to produce a minimum of 30 minutes of our hour. Now, that being said, uh, it is crucial to stick to a schedule when working from home. Um, now, it doesn't have to be the same type of work schedule that we have when we're out and about and when we're at the office. Uh, we could definitely and we should definitely set small goals, okay? and focus on one goal at a time, okay? Um, track your time and figure out what patterns are consuming more of your time that are less important than what, or than which task is the most important. When we're home, for sure, we're gonna get distracted with different things. Um, now, again, um, you have to take one task at a time when doing so. Uh, for some people, it's not easy, but at the same time, you don't, you, you can't allow yourself to, to multitask when you're trying to work on one task at a time. So you take one task at a time and you do it. There is no bits or buts about it. You allocate yourself X, Y, Z time and you just do the work. You, you're allowing yourself to be in an environment where you're comfortable, which is your home. But at the same time, we all know that, unfortunately, the comfort zone doesn't allow us to produce. So uh, you owe it to yourself if you have multiple tasks to do when working from home. Uh, Focus at one goal at a time. Don't multitask. Keep it simple.